Sky News has witnessed firsthand the dangers being faced by thousands of people trapped in the fighting in Mosul and desperate to escape. Nearly 25,000 civilians have fled the Iraqi city in the last 10 days and many have told Sky News they're being deliberately targeted by S as they leave. Well, Sky correspondent John Sparks travelled to the neighbourhood of al Baqa in East Mosul, where Iraqi special forces are clearing the area of IS fighters. A warning, his report contains images of civilians being treated for their injuries. The people of East Mosul find themselves on the front line. Their neighborhoods are bullet strewn and barricaded with snipers on the rooftops and bodies on the ground. There's no food here, no water or power, although the odd soldier hands over supplies. So residents must make a momentous decision. Do they stay? or run for their lives. Are you going to leave? It's understandable. ISIS is firing at them, and the Iraqi army fears some civilians may be suicide bombers. So all 18 members of the Ahmed family are staying put. In a place where fear is the only constant, tens of thousands have decided to go. And we saw them walking out of this lacerated city with weary legs and shattered nerves. This is Gokjali village, 1,500 meters from the front line, and for many, it has come to symbolize salvation. Ahmed Abbasi and his family left their home at 5 a.m., and he told me he's surprised to be alive. <laughs> The Abbasis and others have made their escape, but no one knows when they'll return. For the time being, they'll try to make a new home in a fast expanding refugee camp. For some, this dusty village signifies the end. Two American volunteers run a first aid station here, and we watched as they tried to keep the Hassan family alive. Four-year-old Mayad was buried under cement when their house was hit by a mortar. And it was an assault. She would not survive. The medics worked hard to keep her sister alive, while their brother, Yaya, looked on. Mayad's mother and father were overwhelmed. It didn't stop there. The next patient was an 11-year-old girl called Abir Jazan Ahmed. She was shot through the right lung as she tried to escape. And there was nothing these first aiders could do to help. She was wrapped up in a blanket and her father took her to the side. Where he and Abir's brother began to grieve. Before they reach the camps, the men are screened. Iraqi intelligence officers here looking for members of IS, the threat from within. 
ابو داعشي عم داعشي صار داعشي ابو داعشي يعطينا معلومه عليه جرايب داعشي احنا ما لنا شغله The men and the women have been strictly segregated, and the women haven't been asked any questions at all. The men subjected to a pretty basic, a pretty perfunctory interrogation process. The names will get checked against a computer as well. So far, that's it. Eventually, Ahmed Abbasi and his family made it to the camp. Although they had to walk two kilometers to find themselves a tent. Many more people are expected. In fact, this place has doubled in size over the past two weeks. But the fact they made it is something of a success.